Like my mother say, thank God for Jesus. Hey, y'all give it up for me. Next month, I celebrated my 54th birthday. Next month. Come on. Yeah. So let's let's take a journey back to the days the way we used to shock in the man. The people in the back, the people in the front. Let's do it like this. I ain't going to keep it long. We're going to go like this. Sure, hey, let's go. Come on. Yeah, let's throw your hands in the air and wave. I'm like, I just don't care. And if you're at the spot and you're looking fly, everybody say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And all ladies in the house, pretty ladies in the house, sexy ladies in the house, all ladies in the house, say, ow. Come on, ow. Cut that shit off. Right. Right. That felt good. These young folks can kiss our ass. I'm old school forever. They not going to forget about us. Remember back in the days when you had no heat in your apartment, you put the oven on 550 degrees. You boil your water on the stove. Your kitchen 700 degrees. Bedroom in the back, minus four. Back in the days when you got a tray bag of weed, you got 17 joints out the back. Let's talk about this. You bought that bag on Friday, it lasts till Monday, an hour a day. Not like these young cats. They smoke weed and flavored cigars. That shit is gay to me. You see these young cats, they go right to the bodega. Yo, poppy, let me get a strawberry, vanilla, raspberry, morning scented, honeydew flavor, lemon and sour, sour cream style, potpourri style, Dutch. Are you out of your mind? Come on, back in our day, we took a sheet of big bamboo, a sheet of easy water, put the weed, the seeds, and the stem in the joint. Lit the, lit, lit the weed up. Weed used to pop in 1979. The seeds popped in 79. Soon as you lit it off, it bites your lip or pop. Like, where your lips, son? What? What? Back in the days when domestic violence was legal. <laughs> Shit was legal in 79. <laughs> my father punched my mother in the face. My mother stabbed him with a fork, and we sat down and kept eating dinner. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we rocked a black eye back in our day. We ain't had no therapy. <laughs> Sitting here taking Ritalin. We ain't do therapy in 79. <laughs> you young folks need to recognize what's going on. You ain't gonna believe this mess, you young. You gotta see. Back in the days before the lip gloss, ladies, when you put a dab of Vaseline on your lips, <laughs> and you had the brown lip liner to go around the Vaseline, and you look like a clown in 79. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, back in the days when you wore the jelly shoes. And when you took them off, had the imprint on your foot for four days. Your big ass jumping double dutch with the big tip. Don't you forget that. Young folks kill me. They walk around with pit bulls, light blue eyes, named Gucci. Walk around with a Yorkie, a dog in a bag. It's ridiculous to me. 1979, I had a real dog. I had a German Shepherd. Right. My German Shepherd name was King. Remember King, right? He was brown with the beige chest, long ears, long nuts. <laughs> Hey, I'll pull in the can back then, $7.99. A real dog. He'll let you in the house, won't let you out that motherfucker.
<laughs> or to be like, king of you. Now just go on outside. King like this, I'm going to tear your ass up when you get over here. Uh, thank God for Jesus. What? Back in the day when women had hair on their vagina. And clap for these two, they still got hair on the vagina. <laughs> they got the Pam Greer pussies. <laughs> That's how we did it back in the day. We unbraid the corn roll, the pussy, put Afro sheen on. Back in 79. Come on now. Back in our day, we didn't have no cell phones, didn't even have beepers. What came outside with quarters, nickels, and dimes and used the pay phone? Y'all don't even remember this. And when you ran out of nickels, like, bitch, call me back at 718. Six, four, seven, 45, 73. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Come on now. I saw this young girl earlier today. God bless her. She was walking around. Her daughter had on Uptowns. So the baby was 11 years old, 11 months old. You wearing Uptowns at 11 months old? That was disrespectful. I was born in the early 60s. When I started walking, my mother put on the original hard bottoms. The Buster Browns. The all white with the wood. Soon as I started walking, I walked just like this. I walk like this now because my nuts are too long now because when you're in your mid-50s, your nuts get, <laughs> get big nuts. Ta! Ta! What? Yo, Brooklyn, I love y'all. I love BK. But I'm from the Bronx, New York. The BX, BX or B next. Home of Section 8. Home of the dope fiends. Home of all three of my baby mothers. I went to James Monroe High School in the Bronx. Worst high school on earth. My father was in my class. <laughs> I'm 17, he 37. We in the hallway, he like, yo, where the bitches at? <laughs> where the bitches at? <laughs> fuck out your pussy, son, where the fuck the bitches at? <laughs> yo, let's smoke some cigarettes, son. <laughs> let's get left back. I was like, yo, dad, come on, man, come on, man, let's cut, let's go. <laughs> Thank God for Jesus. I'm a grown ass man, my name is Sean, and I'm a Pisces. and all my child support is paid, zero balance. Come on, fellas, stop it, come on. Come on, clap for me. I'm finished. I paid child support for 11 years, Pep, it was busting my ass. Yeah, 11 years straight. Yeah, 11, no, it was a lot of money it was taken out. 11 years. I was getting, they were taking out so much money out of my check, pimp. I was getting $350 a week for 11 years. I was driving a 1988 Toyota Cressida in 2016. <laughs> With no air conditioning. I was living in half of a studio. <laughs> With no air conditioning. My baby mother was winning. I was driving that Crescent down the block. 
She pulled up in a 2016 BMW. My 20 year old daughter in the back seat. I'm texting my daughter like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, pimp, $350 a week. But my swag was up. I still had a girlfriend. Living in the Bronx. Still had a girlfriend. $350 a week. She believed in my dreams. And when you finish your child support, they give you a certificate. It says, use free. I ain't playing. It was struggling with me. But check this out, check this out, right? That 350, I was making it work, right, pimp? Then I got my check one day. Check said 1,200. Right, so, so I, wait, 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 wait. I looked at the check, hold on, I looked at the check. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, 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 I thought it was a setup at the job. <laughs> I took that check back to human resources voluntarily. Because I wasn't messing up my lifestyle. I had the Crescent, no air conditioner. I was living in a half of a studio, had the nerve enough to have a girlfriend. I was being humble and minding my business. You know what I'm saying? And then a human resources manager is going to tell me, Sean, wait a minute. Your child support is over. This is what you really make. I said, I've been working here 11 years. And I make $1,200 a week. You know what I did? My lady that struggled with me through child support, you know what I did? I cut her off, got a better bitch. <laughs> Stepped up, got me a, a woman with a weave, thick ass, thick titty, size nine shoe. Went to Major Rail, bought me a Ultima. I put $3 down, I pay $1,700 a month. I got the leather seats now. I'm popping bottles, BX, B next. Got a bad bitch. It's a grown man on this stage now, I'm talking. Let's talk about it. And you fellas out here, let me tell you something. I don't, look, y'all, I wanna talk to the fellas for a second. You doing that side chick shit, it's not a good look. You have a woman that you would now, you struggling with your own woman, you got the nerve enough to try to have a chick on the side? And you plastering your lady all on social media? And you got, and you, what are you doing? Don't do the side chick shit. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, 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 and you, big man over there, all y'all. Don't do it. Because I don't do the side chick thing. No more. <laughs> and, and I'm going to keep it, I'm going to tell you what happened to me, because we family, right? Okay. My side chick broke my heart. She left me for another man. <laughs> you know I went home and told my wife about this shit? <laughs> I was like, how this bitch gonna do this to us? <laughs> That's why I love my wife. We work through this. I love this woman. She struggled with me through child through, through the side check. Honey, wherever you at, I love you. <laughs> but you know who I miss the most? My side chick's son. Oh. The little dude. <laughs> you, you could leave him, but you could do what you want with me, but what about him? I had a relationship with him for three years. I love him to death, everybody. And I'm gonna tell you why. That's my side son. <laughs> <laughs> and you telling me my side son can't play with my regular son? I got a regular family at home. My side son was with my side family. And then my side son gonna call me on the phone. He like, side dad. 
<laughs> I was like, what's up? He was like, I miss you, side dad. He said, he missed me, man. That just broke my heart, pimp. And then his mother on the side, he's like that. Put your mother on the phone. I said, yo, don't be talking that way while I'm on the phone with him. She said, nigga, I'm taking you to court. She's like, taking me to court for what? She's like, you got to pay side support. <laughs> so I had to go to family court. I had to use the side entrance. <laughs> I drove my sidekick down there. But y'all give it up for me. I want custody of my side, son. Y'all clap with me. He's home with me. I pay $179 on the side. Because that's what the real dude does. That's what the real mother Thank you, miss. Thank you. I ain't staying long. It's after 10 o'clock and I got arthritis in both my knees. Ladies, get with me. I got arthritis in both knees. That means I get a check. <laughs> Ladies, come over here and rub a knee if you want to get paid. <laughs> Watch out to the show. One of y'all ladies going to be like, yeah, I'll touch your name. <laughs> ah. Man, yo, Ray DeJean, we love you for what you do here in Brooklyn, man. Yeah. Let's clap for Ray, man. We love you, bro. <laughs> Laughaholics Live live, man. Me and Ray did the more on his radio show. I was his co-host until he fired me. <laughs> yeah, it's fucked up, Ray. <laughs> Fucking fired me, man. But I love him. We remain friends to this day. I believe in black unity. In spite of. That's my man right there. Y'all clap for Ray DeJean, man. Come on, laugh for all this. Brooklyn king of comedy, man. I co-sign that. That's my man. But before I leave, I want to share this, and it's getting back to the fellas, all right? Because I got love for y'all, man, because these women may be dogging us. Because we make bad decisions. It's all our fault. Men, we are retarded. Because we don't know what we have when it's good in front of us. Because we preach this instant gratification. Instead of going the long haul with your lady. You're 40, 50 years old, you out there trying to play. You got diabetes and you trying to get another chick. Your balls barely work. And ladies, I'm gonna let you know, I take Viagra. Yes, I'm on it. I don't take Viagra because my dick don't work. I take it because I went over my 750,000 nut limit. I ran out of nut. I ain't no regular. You, this the grown man part of this. I'm telling you the truth, Pip. You understand? That's why he said that. And I'm going to share this, fellas, because I love y'all to death. You with your lady. That's the woman you're supposed to be with tonight. I'm telling you this. Because I ran into my ex-wife with her new man, and that dude looked beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. He was 6'4", looked like Luke Cage, body built, looked like he was a foreman running back for the Giants. My ex-wife, 51, new dude, 37, putting brand new dick in my ex-wife. And ladies, you know when you get a new dick, your skin clear up, your teeth whiten up, you start walking like this. When you get new dick, you walk like this. He bought a brand new Louis Vuitton bag, he holding the bag. <laughs> this, yo, this dude was winning. 37 years old, New York City sanitation, that's what he worked for. Already a lieutenant. Three 401k plans. He getting money. I'm a full-time comedian. You do the math. This dude was driving a 2019 Suburban and two, 2029 Suburban in 2019. I was like, when did the 29s come out? <laughs> what? This 
do was win the fellas. Are you listening to me? This has really happened to me. Then my ex-wife called me. She's like, I want to come to the comedy show. Always let my ex-wife in. She said, I want to bring the new dude. I said, okay, you free. He's got to pay $60. <laughs> if he putting sperm on your forehead, he got to pay. I'm from the Bronx. <laughs> but you know what I did? I let him in. Because I couldn't let this guy know that he was winning and I was losing. So they pull up in the 29. <laughs> 29 flies hell. <laughs> they pull up in the 29. They fly as hell. They come floating into the club. <laughs> floating into the club? They was fly as hell. They went to the bar. They ordered the wings with the seven dipping sauces. I didn't even know they had mango vanilla dipping sauce. <laughs> Some fly shit. Right, so then, right, right, they ended up in the back, you know, and then guess what? He came walking over to me. Luke, 6'4", the brolic dude, winning. Yankee fitted, fresh uptowns on. He says, Sean, you funny as fuck. What you drinking at the bar, pimp? That's what he said to me, pimp. Like, and I'm a drinker. I was like, let me get two double coconut Chiracs and 17 Heinegans. <laughs> That's how I get down. I'm a drinker. Boom, we throwing back the drinks. Now we just fucked up. It's all good. And then at the corner of my eye, you listen to me, fellas? I saw my ex-wife out the corner of my eye, and I forgot how fat that ass was. I forgot how we had Bible studies on Sunday morning. Forgot how we had Domino's Pizza on Wednesday, pimp. Forgot how she played with my balls on Friday night. The motherfucking ball game was crazy. And in the back of my mind, I wanted my ex-wife back. But the new dude was winning. So I get drunk as hell. My ex-wife and her new man drive me home in the 29. <laughs> I'm in the back seat like... It's had vibrating seats in the <laughs> She's texting her home. Sean Trunk here in the back seat. We just had to take him home. <laughs> so then we get home, right, Pip? I'm drunk. I'm by myself. So you know what? I said, I'm going to call my ex-wife. I know he spent 200 I know he dropped me off in the 29 But I'm going to call my ex-wife. I want her back. So I called at 2 o'clock in the morning. Second ring, new dude picks up the phone. Yo, Sean, what's good, sir? <laughs> Yo, anything all right, man? Yo, that was a good look, man. You know what I'm saying, man? We're going to drop you up home, man. We need to do this again, man. Your daughter coming in, man. Everything's good. Yo, Sean, you all right, man? Everything's cool, man? What's going on? I didn't even know what to say. I said the dumbest shit. I said, I said nigga, uh, uh, before I hung up the phone, I was like, uh, nigga, I had the pussy first. Hey, Sean Hardy, thank you so much, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Yo, support Ray Deshaun. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, Tim, thank you, bro.